Hello, welcome to this week's Plan With Me for the week of April 26th to May 2nd. My name is Stephanie and thank you for joining me today. This week I am using this beautiful kit from the Planning World. This is in the B6 format. I've always bought it from Planning World in B6 format because they're cheaper and I just felt like the full kits were just a little too much for me. But in the end, it worked out. I originally bought this when I was in my Happy Planner. But now, since I moved into the B6, it just fits so perfectly. I'm also bringing in these wedding scripts from Rose Colored Days. I've been hoarding them for like a year now. Because due to the whole global issue, we kind of had to like set our plans back. And we didn't really want to um, set anything in stone. Now that everything seems to be calming down a little, we're kind of looking into things again. Still not setting down deposits, but at least getting an idea of what we're looking for. We do want to be a little extra, so we are <laughs> saving up money already. And hopefully we could get married in a year or two. But besides that, I'll talk more about the engagement shoot during the memory plan with me portion. For now, for the pre-plan... Since it is a kit, in the B6 format, I did have to bring in a few things. Most of the things that I brought in were for my sideboard. So I just brought a leftover six box checklist that I used for my hydration. Some habit trackers to mark walking my dog Jaeger and cleaning my guinea pig's cage. And then of course my vitamin D reminder for the week. Then a few extra things I had to bring in was all the washi of course for my important page and on the sidebar for the weekend then i also brought in some extra headers for the full boxes because i've noticed that the planning world b6 format kit does not come with enough headers so i did bring some in for my full boxes of course they are those green bind headers from girl boss Anna. i know i've been using them a lot but i've I honestly love this washi. It's so cute and I want to get them in the other foil colors. I'll have to wait on it because I do want to be on a no spend so you'll see more of why um, during the week and of course for the following week. Before I let you go, of course, um, for Wednesday and Thursday I ended up like moving around the stickers. I was like Wednesday, Thursday and Friday because I realized that I like put them all wrong and then I had like the work scripts right next to each other or I would end up having two full boxes next to each other so I needed to like move a whole bunch of things I did not have any undo so I kind of just prayed and hoped the paper didn't rip up in the end it came out just fine but yeah I just didn't want the two work scripts together of course most of my scripts are going to be from Lilac and the Plants Co. you could use my code STEF15 for 15% off and get the silver sampler here in the top right corner. Now I'm just gonna let you guys listen to some music, watch you lay down some stickers, and I'll get back to you once the memory plan with me starts, okay?
welcome back so now for the memory plan with me portion of the video of course i am filling in the things i checked off for the hammer trackers my vitamin d and my hydration for the week starting off on monday is when the stress started to settle in a bit more uh, i ended up ironing a whole bunch of clothing and trying to figure out what brandon was gonna wear we did buy his slacks and waistcoat the previous weekend but I just wanted to see like which shirt was the best, which shoes, and yeah. Then for Tuesday, I decided to try to relax a little bit because I ended up getting a pimple on like the edge of my left eyebrow, which really upset me. I was like really training, trying to take care of my skin, so no like huge pimples will pop up. I was able to hide it, but still it like, kind of like frustrated me, and I was like, Stephanie, you need to like calm down, like calm down, it's fine. So I just ended up drawing and watching Wee Bear Bear and then playing some League. On Wednesday is when I was ironing Brandon's waistcoat and his slacks. I ended up messing up and I washed his waistcoat incorrectly. It got like super wrinkled. I didn't throw it in the dryer which made it even more wrinkled but it at least like didn't shrink but I had to like iron it out like for an hour and then I still ended up ironing it out on Friday because it just it was just not okay and then Saturday morning just to get as many creases out and I was just like oh my god what did I do I messed up but it's fine we made it work I was just like super stressed on Thursday I was kind of just like go 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 you are stressed you are tired but you are fine that's why I took the nap too <laughs> Then for Friday, it was just finalizing all the, all the outfits, um, the crown, of course, his little corsage that I made for him, and then um, I also went to go get my nails done, so I was like, um, what was it, the one who did my nails is like, um, just, just nails it on Instagram, she did an amazing job, I love like how simple they are. And I'm like really happy with them. It's the first time I've gotten them with like a private nail artist instead of like a nail shop. But yeah, I got to relax a little bit. And then for Saturday is when my stress was kind of like everywhere. It was doing like a zigzag up and down, up and down. Because <laughs> I woke up, I did my hair, I did my makeup. I ended up burning my left hand because uh, the curling um, iron just got too close. And then um, I was ironing out Brandon's waistcoat again. And then I ended up burning my middle finger on my left hand. And I was like, why does it have to be my hand that has my engagement ring? I was like getting upset here and there. But Brandon like calmed it down throughout the day, which was really nice. And then we got to Yosemite at a decent time. But because we were trying to look for closer parking, we ended up taking a wrong turn. And it was like... 30 minute wait so we were behind on like the schedule and like I w it, w it was like really starting to hit me by then and like it was starting to like stress Brandon out too but we got through it we were able to take some pictures here's like one of my favorite pictures that Wesley took he did an amazing job like I w I'm so glad my friend found him and I, I was just so excited for the pictures he got them done in like three days which was like so fast i thought it was gonna be like a week or two before we got the pictures and no he got it to us in three days which is amazing here is his ig go check him out i love his pictures if you're in the california area that is now one thing out of the way for wedding prep now on to the actual wedding which is probably going to stress me out even more but we'll figure it out um we do want to be a little more extra so it's going to be um at a venue we want a whole bunch of trees again. Uh, we have to figure out how like dinner is going to be. Uh, but yeah. On Sunday I did get to relax a little though. Like I was just like okay I'm just going to clean my home because it's a mess from yesterday. I talked with my mom letting her know that we got the pictures done. And she was excited to see um, what we are going to get. And then I just binge watched the new season of Handmaid's Tale after cleaning up a little bit and yeah that was how my week was 
it was very stressful but at least my happy moment was to finally have those engagement pictures done and going to Yosemite for the first time which was really nice. So yeah, hopefully you guys didn't mind hearing me rant about my stress but <laughs> I was just really stressed, okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys continue watching me lay down stickers and filling in my planner. I'll do a little bit wiggle, but thank you for joining me. Please stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!